a current event that we were talking about was mm-hmm. uh, this whole Dave Chappelle thing. So um, if you guys don't know, obviously Dave Chappelle, the biggest comic in the game right now. Mm-hmm. Um, he had the Chappelle show mm-hmm. uh, with Viacom uh, through Comedy Central. Um, so what they did was Comedy Central sold the rights to uh, first Netflix and then HBO Max. Sold the rights to them. Uh, Dave Chappelle doesn't get any money off any of the streaming ad or revenue. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's upset about it. Netflix, they canceled theirs, but HBO Max is still streaming as of as of right now. Um, he signed, you know, he signed for season one, season two back in the day. Yeah. Um, and, and part Buku. of it, yeah, part of it was, um, you know, it, it, you're getting paid to do this this comedy skit, right. and then um, in in the letters, in the uh, the the legal paperwork, there wasn't anything about streaming or or anything, any extras. We'll put it that way. Yeah. And now Chappelle's upset because he's not getting paid off of it. Yeah. They found a loophole. That's it. They found a loop. Well, yeah, they didn't know anything about streaming at, back in the day. So, what's yeah. your thoughts? Uh, yeah, hey, that, that's, that fucking sucks, man. Um, Dave Chappelle is like one of the greatest guys in the game with this, man. Uh, and and just to see your work taken for advantage like that, I could, I could, re- you know, I could only imagine. Even though you got, you made buttloads of money, that's still like your baby. That was your biggest project, and somebody take your shit. It's like you taking my Jordans that I gave you. And you just give them the random ass people to wear. Like, bro, I gave these specifically to you as a gift, and you just taking advantage of my shit, just spreading it around. Like, do that. you think hey, I'm not getting anything off? Of. Do you think HBO Max or Comedy Central or Vi- Viacom should, should give him give yeah. him anything? In it? I think they should, man. Um, I think that's that's more of a legal issue, and depending on the relationship that he has with these corporations like that, you know, these networks. Uh, but I, I definitely think he should be compensated just because of his his body of work. Um, the relationship and what he's brought to the uh, community and entertainment in the whole, especially in the comedy field, man, because that's just showing another opening to how networks could do this to not just him. They can do this to anybody now. Right. Um, so I think for him to stand up for it and continue to pursue it out, man, this will uh, definitely let people know you can't just take advantage of people, um, especially in this entertainment industry of comedy, because you can definitely be sucked up and dried out and spit out easily see, I, I see it different i see it you signed and we it. paid you for what you signed for black white that's not this isn't even a black white issue yeah, 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 yeah. this is i paid you for work to be done mm-hmm. you did the work i paid you the money you done you done yeah. we offered you season three to come back and do season three season four for 55 million dollars and you turned it down but now you're gonna bitch about money so and uh, let me. I don't think it's a money issue with with Chappelle. No, no. I, just I think, think I think it's respect. a respect, it's just ego. About respect. Yeah, it's, I, I'm quite sure it's we know stuff. it's not about money. He I, don't need no more money. Hell, he just got what was that? He got like a big lump sum for that special he did on Netflix. Like he, he signed a uh, like 50, 60 million or right. some shit for that one special. So, so it's he, not about money. It's definitely not about money. It's just like I said. I think it's just their integrity for him to stand up for future comedians. You know what I mean? Because it in the outside looking in, if you're an upcoming comedian. And they say, well, damn, if they did that to Chappelle, they definitely could do it to me. Right. And knowing at the level he's on. So I think that's the whole reason he's trying to pursue yeah. it. I do. I, I wish he would have worded it differently. Oh, yeah. I wish he wouldn't have said, pay me. That was his last yeah. name was pay me. <laughs> you know, so. Pay like, me. Yeah, I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, 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 man, I, you know my thoughts. I think yeah. he's the best in the game. I don't oh, yeah. think there's, he's the GOAT. There's nobody better than Dave Chappelle. Yeah. I just wish that he would have. Just said it's not about the money. It's about right, right. It's about the cloud, not not necessarily even the cloud. It's about the the, the just, principle. Just the principle, man. Because you know, if if they can do that to De Chappelle, they can do that to any damn yeah. body, knowing that the level he's on. But then at the same time, he wasn't a kid. He was twenty nine right. years old. Right. He had your own lawyer. Yeah. You did. You know. Uh, again, you got paid for what you did, and people were just. You know, I, I think the people that surround it, that that comment on it, and think it's about money, make it a lot worse. Right? They think that because he's a black man, he's getting right. screwed. No, it's a business, bro. Right? You know? And I, and you got to remember, at this time when he had that, no one knew about streaming and Nobody all knew that. About so streaming. none of that was out now. Right. So like, if this was a situation different, like from him to Kevin Hart, 
where he's in already in this time frame with with streaming and all that. It would be totally different, but that wasn't even thought of about the time when he had that contract. No. So, I got you know, you. it's it was just like I said, they found a loophole. Yeah. They found a loophole. And what it tells young artists and people that that are making a big own your own shit. Yeah. Masters yeah, just masters, like Kanye man. was talking about, own your own, own shit. shit man. You know? That's and, the only way to go. You know, and there's no reason nowadays that you can't. Absolutely, you know? man. And if you want to sell it to somebody, mm -hmm. that's one thing. Like if you wanted to make your own, produce your own special, and sell it to Netflix or sell it to Comedy Central or sell it to oh, whoever, yeah. that's one thing. It's a bought and sold contract. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, that sucks, man. I mean, it, it sucks all around. But it, it does. You know what really sucks is if they, they. Uh, he does win against HBO Max, and mm -hmm. they don't stream it at all. And these kids coming up now will never know what the Chappelle Show is. Well, shit, they do run, they do reruns of it on VH1 still. Too. Do they? Yeah, yeah, I watch it all the time. Hmm. They do runs of this whole episode. Or man, you got shoot, you can if whatever series you can find and just just go buy it. Yeah, but it's not re readily available. Is what I'm saying. Well, like, yeah, yeah. Like, oh no, you get bootleg, man. You get bootleg, man. If you're looking for it, you can find it, but you it's find not gonna, it. Yeah. It's not going to be the same. But you can find it though, because yeah. I still watch run-ins all the time of it on VH1 right now. I was watching on Netflix until it got it oh, got yeah. deleted yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. I was just watching on VH1 a couple of like last week or can't remember exact day, but they have a certain day where they'll just do a run through yeah. episodes. I think it's like on a Friday night or some shit. I'll check it out. Thank you for listening to the Great Tokens podcast.